Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today I want to explain you in the next 10 minutes what Flutter.1.17 is about, Dart 2.8, the new package storyboard from Rody Davis and last but not least we want to talk about the Flutter code pen of the week. And now without further ado let's get started. First topic today is Flutter 117 release. Last week I already explained to you that we will have to see a future release this week or last week. Now on the 6th of May it finally happened. Flutter 1.17 is back with a big announcement from Chris Sales, one of the senior product managers of Google. In his announcement in Medium article he explains to us that they collaborate with Code Magic, or better, Never Code, which is the company behind Code Magic. They collaborate now together for the triage work, so they take over the triage work for them. With that, the Flutter team was able to reduce the issue amount by 800 issues this year. Additionally, the update brings also more performance impact. The performance is getting much better compared to before. But the biggest improvement for performance came from the usage of iOS Metal API, which allows to directly speak with the underlying uh, GPU engine. That new API allows rendering speeds up by 50% once more. And also, whenever you have a device that don't have access to the Metal iOS API, you will automatically fall back to the old OpenGL possibility. The third big impact for the update is that the material design widgets get an overhaul. So for example, we got a new widget called Navigation Rail, which will be able to be possible usage for mobile and desktop application, as well as on web. So the main idea was to have something that is collapsible on the site navigation, so that you immediately have a better navigation feeling for your users. Also, they improved the date picker so that it fits now the material redesign for the date picker. Also, they had smaller improvements for other widgets. So, for example, the text selection widget has now the possibility to have a context sensitive way to show you the options. Another huge thing is the improvement of internationalization and accessibility. For both packages, the documentation has been enhanced. It also includes some recommendation and best practices. Regarding to the internationalization, Korean people will be very happy this time because a lot of the bu uh, merged bug fixes are related to the Korean language. There are some major changes in the Flutter tooling. One of the biggest change is most likely the network tab that shows you incoming and outgoing network calls for your device that is currently connected. Additionally, there are multiple changes for the different IDEs like Visual Studio Code and Android Studio or IntelliJ. You can find, as always, the link down in the video description below to the Medium article if you want to know more about the whole topic. As I stated in the last Flutter news, the version 2.8 of Dart has been also released with the version 1.17 of Flutter and because they aligned their release process. Inside of the article for the release of Dart 2.8, we got the information that the am amount of Dart packages increased by 200% and we have now a Dart arsenal of more than 10,000 packages. The 2.8 release paves the road that a null safety check feature will come into place and we're all looking forward to that. Additionally, the Dart package manager has now the possibility to call the package outdated function which gives you an introduction of which major releases has been done to your packages so you can think about to upgrade your packages too. The third topic that I want to introduce you is the new package from Rody Davis, Storyboard. Rody Davis announced in a Twitter feed that he uh, introduced us to Flutter Storyboard. It allows us to have uh, developing in multiple different screens and look at them like a storyboard from Adobe XD. This is a huge benefit and could change the development process of a lot of Flutter teams. So especially for enterprise customers, this is a thinking where we want to go maybe in the future. So take a look down in the video description below. This brings us to the Flutter Pen of the week. The Flutter Pen of this week comes to you by, from Dominic, one of the community members of the Flutter group. He created a nice code pen for Flutter where you can control a rocket by adding and removing speed to it and the target is to reach the, the important planet 
Dartween. It took me hours and I couldn't manage it, so try it yourself. It is an amazing. You will find a link down in the video description below. I want to know now from you guys, what do you think about these improvements? What do you think about the new package from Rody Davis? And also, what do you think about the code pen that I explained to you this week? Leave it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode today, leave a like button, subscribe to this channel, and on top of me, you find two videos that you are most likely be interested in. And now there is nothing else to say than thank you, have a great time, and enjoy your weekend. See ya, guys.